everyone, John Henry here, SlingshotFutures.com, and welcome to the Market Mindset, where we take a look at the psychology behind the moves today so we can better understand tomorrow. And today, we're taking a look at the gold futures. Now, the gold futures, for the most part, we're kind of dealing with a range. Uh, now, we had a, a decent downtrend in the sense that it was kind of obvious. It kept going down, right? Uh, but it was definitely a lot of back and forth. And we can really see that at the bottom. When it starts hitting these lows, we had a nice three push wedge, uh, started going sideways for a little while, tried breaking out again, immediately popped right back up, tried breaking out again, immediately popped right back up. And you can see now they're having a hard time even closing below those lows. We're getting more and more clues that the downside is becoming limited, right? We come back down to the low again. Now they can't even get underneath the low before failing and we start seeing a turn back towards the highs. Now this is still a downtrend, but what this is telling us is that sellers are looking for better prices. They don't wanna buy, uh, you know, they, or rather they don't wanna sell way down here, they wanna get it at better prices. And I can't really blame them, right? It makes a lot of sense. So given the fact that we know sellers are looking for better prices, they're probably gonna be selling prior swing highs, they're gonna be selling higher. So we need to look for evidence that that is starting to happen. We come up to the prior swing highs, they break through with some pretty good conviction, so obviously they're not ready to do it quite yet. Go out to the next one, we start falling a little bit short. Then we get a big explosive move that completely falls flat, by the way, an exhaustive type of move. When they come back to that level, they fail again. Now you're starting to see that evidence of, okay, they're obviously not doing so great anymore. Chances are, this is where they're attempting to get a little bit of a sell going on, right? So we're looking for reasons to become sellers in this area. The first one and the second one I already have marked. We have this big blow off candle, huge explosion to the upside right into that area of resistance. That's going to be seen as exhaustion, especially given a downward trend and the fact that we're sitting on a three push wedge already. Yeah, chances are we're gonna be looking at this as I don't believe you buyers, I'm going to sell into you. And that's exactly what the sellers did that allowed the sellers to push down and push back for a beautiful move lower. Now, before they were able to get that scalp all the way down, we pinged off of the moving average and attempted that prior swing high one more time. And you'll notice what happened here. We have a twin reversal again. Uh, they close above it, immediately close right back down. And if you didn't take this one, that is a surefire signal right there that you're looking for a reversal back lower and the sellers swarmed it back to the lows. Uh, and that's the importance of sticking with that trend. We have an overall bearish trend, but, right, there's that but in there. Uh, we're correcting bullishly. Wait for the buyers to show signs of weakness and then jump in assuming that they're going to fail and that's what worked out the best so far today on gold. Now with that big drop lower, we're anticipating the sellers are gunning for the lows. We're just looking for a reason to get in at that point. We have consecutive bears. One, two, three, four, five big old bear candles to the downside. Obviously the sellers mean business here. We're just looking to see if they can follow through and they do, right? We get a really weak bull bounce. A, just even worse bullish follow through. We have a big bull engulfing candle and it fails right back down again. There's just no reason to believe the buyers. They're not giving you any proof. Why would I believe the buyers if they can't even continue after an engulfing bull candle, right? Where are they? They're nowhere to be found. And that's another big, big clue. The buyers are nowhere to be found. So the sellers are probably going to start taking back over and looking for those lows. And that's exactly what they did for another nice drop down to the bottom. So plenty of opportunity today on gold if you were patient enough to wait for it and just look for those little clues. Those little nuances can be the biggest game changer in your trading that you can really ask for. And when you start picking up on them, it gets a little bit easier over time. Trading is never easy, but it gets a little bit easier as time goes on. So hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you found it interesting, maybe a little bit useful and entertaining, and we'll see you all next time.